and Merry Christmas. It is a joy to worship with you this morning here at St. Bethlehem United Methodist Church. I hope you have all recovered from your Christmas celebrations or are still preparing for more. But we are glad that you have joined us here at St. B this morning. A few announcements before we get started. First is that Bible study will not meet this week or next week. We will resume on January 12th. Also, the Christmas card box is still on the other side of these doors. If you have not checked your name, your letter for your Christmas cards, please be sure to check those before you leave. Also, if you purchase a poinsettia, you are invited to take it with you at the close of our service today. Also, our church phone is still down, but the phone number that will get you through to the office is in the bulletin, and my cell phone number is also still listed as well if you need me for anything. Also, on January 15th at 9 a.m., we will be gathering in Heritage Hall for a church council planning retreat. If you are not on church council, if you are still invited to attend, we will be doing some calendar planning and have some time of prayer. And don't worry, I will feed you. So I hope you will join us on January 15th at 9 a.m. Also, if you don't receive your newsletter by email, we do have copies printed in the back. Are there any other announcements this morning? Seeing none, I invite you now to join me in our call to worship. Let us go in heart and mind to see what has come to pass. Let us go with the shepherds. Let us go with the kind of Savior. Let us go with the wise ones. Let us go with the kind of God's promise for one of us. Let us go with the poor and humble. Let us go with the kind of King born of all women. Let us go with all the world, with all the peoples of the nations. Come, let us worship. Come, let us adore him. The Lord. I invite you now to stand as you are able as we sing together, Go Tell It on the Mountain, and There's a Song in the Air.
the chairs pulled in around me and my stack of presents. <laughs> I needed this quiet, safe place to fully enjoy the gifts that were being given to me, away from the hustle and bustle of the throwing of wrapping paper and ribbons and bows and my cousins exclaiming about what they got. There I was, safe under my grandmother's dining room table, surrounded by the things that meant the most to me in that moment. I thought a lot about that story, especially as we know the busyness that is the holiday season. We have all had our celebrations. I am off this afternoon for a celebration tonight and another one tomorrow. My Christmas celebrating is only just beginning. At least my Christmas celebrating with my family and loved ones. You see, sometimes we need these quiet moments. We need this space away to fully appreciate, to fully embrace, in order to fully understand this gift that has been given to each and every one of us, this gift that has been given to the world that comes in the birth of Christ. And this morning we heard the story of Jesus being lost at the temple and Mary and Joseph frantically searching for him. And I think the key part of this is, at the very beginning, it reminds us that they are on their way home. The temple is no longer busy with those who had journeyed to it for these festivals they were celebrating. The temple was no longer crowded. The festivals had ended. The visitors had packed up their donkeys and are heading home with their ribbons and wrapping paper in tow. There is a calm of peace once more in the temple. In the temple, there is now stillness. And in that stillness is where we find Jesus. Jesus, who has been born in a manger. Jesus, whose parents will flee to Egypt to avoid Herod's wrath. Jesus, who has been circumcised and presented to the Lord in the temple. Jesus whose divinity and destiny are recognized by Simeon and Anna. Jesus, who came to bring peace on earth, give sight to the blind, to set the captives free. Jesus is in the stillness of the temple. And so today, on this Sunday after Christmas, I invite you into the stillness. I invite you away from the hustle and bustle of family and friends and loved ones, just for a moment. Because we do know that in the hustle and bustle, in the presence of our loved ones, Jesus is there also. But take a moment, a quiet moment, a still moment, to rejoice in the gift that God has given us. To rejoice in the birth of our Savior. To celebrate God made flesh. Because friends, Christ is born, Emmanuel, God is with us. Amen. I invite you now to remain in your seats as we sing together a silent night.
to bring about those things, to bring about your peace and share your love, to extend our hand across the divide. Continue to strengthen us, continue to give us courage, continue to remind us that we cannot wait. Oh God, speak to us in the silence, in the stillness. Help us continue to see the great gift we have been given. And may we share that gift, that knowledge with the world. Oh God, we give you thanks. We give you thanks that you have called us your children, that you have called us beloved. And so now together we pray the prayer that Jesus first taught, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I invite you now to stand as you are able for both of our closing hymns this morning. We will sing with Christian friends rejoice, and we will close with joy to the world. I invite you to stand as you're able.
Amen. Amen.